All right, hey y'all. Here's just a very quick video, just to show what's been going on. Um, some of you all know that I do have another mower. It's a Green Craftsman GT 1000. Um, transmission's got a, it's a six-speed Spicer. I put my a post twin on it. Um, got a MST 206 right here, taken apart. Getting bearings for the axles there and there. They're on order. With the top half here. Um, getting putting that back together and putting it in there and then that tractor's done so you'll be able to see it it's not my house so it's not my buddies but yeah so there's the racing mower and the yamazuki just messing with this mower bolts broke off in the engine two of the engine mount bolts there's one but the other two on this side broke off in the damn frame but yeah some of you all know that the transmission in this is blown bad. It sheared the main shaft off inside the transmission, so I'm not going to be able to fix that for a while, but I'm probably going to put that that six-speed Spicer transmission in it that I got. Um, got a little four-wheeler there, the John Deere there. Um, this thing, the Cushman, it does run. Rewired the whole thing. Like made a whole new, I made a whole loom, new loom for wiring loom. Put some lights up there, light there. Here's gonna be the exhaust here. It's gonna stack exhaust. Haven't hooked it up underneath or anything. It's just got a tab welded there and bolted on to the frame. Um, yeah, so that exhaust will get finished and then figure out why the cylinder on this side's misfiring real bad. I think it's the valves. That's what everybody's been telling me. But yeah, so. Yeah, just let me know about that quick update there. Um, how I can get them bolts out of that motor and other stuff like that. Because that motor's going on the brush cutter. So that motor's just shot. Just won't run anymore unless you spray and brake clean straight in it. Put different carbs on it and stuff. But yeah. Alright guys, come and re-subscribe. See y'all.